today. It's gonna be all about food. What the hell is the wrong website? The seal, come to bed. I don't need this shit anyway. <laughs> What's going on everyone? It's a seal suede and in this video I am going to be attempting Johnny Sin's diet for great sex. So I will be trying the Sin's TV diet. You know what? We're gonna call it the suede TV for a day. Follow me on Instagram at the seal suede and I'll let you know whether or not this video gets demonetized. Johnny Sin's posted a video on his YouTube channel about his full day of eating and it got almost 8 million views. So it went viral and no wonder the guy looks great. I mean look at him. Sure plenty of us have seen him shirtless many times. Some more than others. But anyways, before this video gets started, I quickly will mention that I am running a $7 seven day summer sale on my complete body transformation program. So if you are looking into becoming a sex god yourself, click that first link and get my program for seven bucks. You don't want to miss out. Anyways, guys, make sure you smash the like button. If you do enjoy this video and want to see more creativity with these diet challenges, and after you've given the video a like, let me know in the comment section down below. What else should I do? I'll check out what's most requested. But with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, here at the grocery store, aka Food Line, to pick up all the foods I need for today's full day of eating. And it's quite an interesting list. Diet plan. So I like to eat one of these first thing. We have got a container of Oikos triple zero Greek yogurt. I don't think I said that right, but he actually used vanilla flavored. Couldn't find vanilla in the grocery store. So we're going with blueberry, which I'm not complaining. I just squirted everywhere. So this has 15 grams of protein with only 10 grams of carbs and zero grams of fat with 100 calories. So I actually do recommend these, these are really cool. Or you can get the light and fit. Those are like double the protein, around like 12 grams of protein, I think. Yeah, and eight grams of carbs or something like that. Probably around 80 calories. Either or work. This lab powder fit will be pretty good. Thick, very thick. Johnny Sins definitely improves thick breakfast. One cup of kale. Six eggs, I'm gonna do four whites, two whole eggs. So a lot of people actually don't know how to separate an egg white from a yolk. And it's okay, I've been in the same position before, but so we cracked up two whole eggs, right? And we need four egg whites. This is according to the diet plan. So this is what you do, okay? You just crack it. I think I already screwed it up. <laughs> Literally just go back and forth, okay? Back and forth until the whole egg white is separated. And super quick, what you can do as well to make this much less of a mess, and trust me, I learned the hard way. Toss the yolk in the sink, and turn the disposal on once done with all that. We're gonna do this four more egg whites, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna whisk it around, and then we're gonna get started on the oatmeal. I think I've already screwed that up. One cup of milk. One cup of oatmeal. So we are gonna get started on the pot oatmeal. Not like pot, no meal, but oatmeal, the pot. We're using old fashioned oats because that's exactly what Johnny Sins used. Dude, used quick oats, so much better. All of you use old fashioned oats, why? But anyway, we're using a cup here, again, as per Mr. Sins ingredient list. So we're also going to put a cup of milk. I don't know why I said it that way. So we're using 1% lactate because regular milk in general just absolutely destroys me. I'm in the bathroom all day long because I'm a little lactose intolerant. Anyways, we have one cup here, put that in the pot. Keep in mind, this is the first time I'm making oatmeal in a pot. I feel like I'm in Breaking Bad here. Like Walter White, where you at, bro? We're making meth or something here. Anyways, oatmeal being torn up and then we also have the eggs being cooked, which I'm also gonna put some salt and pepper. So 
we have just got done preparing meal number two. And again, I showed you all exactly how to make this step by step. And believe it or not, it looks really good. I'm so surprised at how this came out. It literally looks like a kale omelet. So we also have the oatmeal here. And I did not do a bad job cooking it because I tried it in the pot. And it tastes absolutely fantastic. The only problem is how much you get. Like if you make this in the microwave, I promise you get like two, three times more the amount of volume. I have no clue why. So watch how fast I can eat this. Okay, you get the point here. I ate like almost half of it in what, not even 10 seconds. But let's go ahead and give this omelet a try. This looks super good. Mmm, dang, very good. One thing I forgot to mention is that he, in his video, before he even started with the food, mentioned that he drinks a ton of water. And obviously, I do as well, over a gallon a day. First thing, like I said before, shit load of water. That is super important. Up about an hour before the gym, I'll drink a smoothie. I'm gonna make it with coffee today. I have never in my life done this, but we'll see what's gonna happen. Sicko, you don't like the peanut butter after putting in the shake. Oh my god, I do not believe this. Let's drink this thing. I mean, look at it, guys. Do you just not see the smoke coming out of this? This is not how a protein should a look and smell. Oh my god, it literally smells worse than it looks. He mentions that he drinks this an hour before he goes to the gym. About an hour before the gym, I drink a smoothie. Which is absolutely crazy. He makes it seem so normal that you put coffee with protein powder and BCAs and a very large banana. Crazy. We're gonna give this a try. Actually, screw the cup. We're just going balls deep, literally. <sighs> oh my god. No, 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 no. I don't know how he does it. I honestly don't. Look at this shake. There is smoke coming out of this concoction. Wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. You know, it starts to get a little bit better. The more you have, the better it gets. My girl's looking at me like you're freaking it insane. Stinks. Yeah, I'm probably never gonna be able to kiss her nor touch her first night. Mmm, so interesting. You know, you get the coffee, which is extremely pulp. Keep in mind, I'm using strawberry cream flavored protein powder. Strawberry cream. Doesn't really help. That's really good stuff, but I'm gonna be honest, this is not gonna sit on my stomach, especially if I plan on going to the gym an hour from now. So I'm gonna put that down and talk about something productive, which is supplementation. So Johnny Sins actually talked about supplementation and what kind of supplements he personally uses and thinks he needs to stay fit in his own YouTube video himself. I don't take too many supplements. I pretty much stick to the supplements that you know you can take pretty much any time that have the most benefits really and I can completely agree because I don't take many supplements either I mean I'm a my protein sponsored athlete but I use like the basic most concrete supplements that I think everybody should use to actually build a great physique so I'm just using whey protein powder and then obviously BCAs which I don't normally use you know consistently but he mentions that he personally uses BCAs all the time every day and then whey protein powder pretty much every single day so I use creatine and protein powder every day anyways guys you want to check this out this is gonna be the my protein impact whey protein powder and I have like the stingiest amount right now <laughs> especially this packet of BCAs because I'm at my girl's place and I did not order any so I'm gonna go on the website and order some live now but anyways I'll link both of these in the description box down below this is super cheap like cha-ching check out the price on this little bag cha-ching check out the price on a much bigger bag so you can shop on a budget so you can use the codes of course the seal VIP at checkout you'll save 45% off on your supplementation goals anyways it is time to hit the gym I'll take you all through it <laughs>
gym and we're actually going to prepare the post workout protein shake, which is going to be meal number four in Jason's diet plan. Again, the same full day of eating that he personally uploaded on his YouTube channel. So check it out. He mentions when it comes to post workout nutrition, and I really like that he said this. You don't necessarily need to drink it right after your workout. You don't have to have a protein shake as soon as you're done training. So many people think the second you're done with your last rep of your last set of your last exercise in the gym, you have to slug down a shake to make gains or something. No, you don't. Anyways, that is actually getting a little bit late here. So we're behind on meals. I'm just gonna whip this up. We have weight protein powder, more BCAs, and glacier cherry flavored Gatorade. Johnny says, what is up with your taste buds when it comes to liquids? Well, should I answer that? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> BCAs, strawberry cream flavored protein powder, glacier freeze flavored Gatorade. Cheers. That's interesting. Does not taste that bad. Is it better than the coffee one? Definitely better than the coffee one. That coffee one was just straight booty. We're gonna put this in a cup and enjoy it and actually sit down and pummel it down without feeling like we're dying here. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna take you all through how to prepare the next meal step by step. It was actually a little bit creative. So he personally was using go-to meals, the meal prep companies, but I'll show you how to make the same exact thing without a meal prep company so you can do it yourself. Alright, so check it. Johnny Sins was using a meal prep company for meal number five. This turkey meatloaf. Anything custom made like this. But I'm gonna show you all exactly how you can prepare that meal at home rather than using a meal prep company, which is most likely to be super expensive for something super simple that anybody can make. So follow along. These are the ingredients we're gonna need. We're just gonna need some 93.7 lean ground turkey, which is going to be the turkey meatloaf. And then we also have the kick and bourbon sweet baby ray sauce, which is gonna be a little bit of the marinade for the meatloaf. And then we have some steamed broccoli, super basic here. We're sticking this in the microwave for five minutes gonna be prepared super quick. And we also have a steamable sweet potato. So here's the thing, we're gonna make some smashed yams. Again, that's what his fifth meal is gonna consist of, which was in that meal prep container. So you just put this in the microwave for six minutes. It's gonna be super soft, super prepared. We're gonna mash it up in a bowl, put a splash of 1% milk, just a splash, some sea salt, and it's gonna be your smashed yams. Let's go ahead, get to prep. <laughs> So check it, the microwavable yam has conveniently finished cooking up in the microwave for literally only six seconds, six minutes, I wish, six seconds. But anyway, so here's what we're gonna do to make the smashed yams, right? Just like Johnny Sin's meal, which was again from a meal prep company. So I'm gonna cut it in half, and what I'm gonna do with a spoon, just really get the inside of the sweet potato. Oh my God, that is hot. Okay, watch out. Don't try this at home, folks, just kidding. This is exactly why I'm doing this, so you could try it at home yourself. Anyway, just go ahead and put all the yam inside, pretty much the inside of it, because again, this is a smashed yam homemade recipe. But what you do is put a splash of some milk or almond milk as well, if you're trying to save some calories. And personally, I put some cinnamon as well, but then you just mash it up, okay? Some salt, a little bit more like savory. Hell, I've heard of people putting some like zero calorie sweetener if you like it sweeter, but honestly, I think it's sweet enough. So boom, smashed yams and it's low calorie. And there you have it, Swade's Meal Prep Company. That was the most pathetic chump on a kitchen counter I've ever seen in my life, but check it out. We have 200 grams of the smashed yams, six ounces of the ground turkey, and we made it into meatloaf. I know it's like ground turkey patties, but literally smashed into patties, threw them literally on the pan, I'm saying literally way too much, with some salt and pepper, flipped them after two, three minutes, and then put a little bit of that kick in bourbon sweet baby ray sauce, which only has like six grams per serving. You probably use like one or two servings on top, and then we have half a cup of broccoli. So does this not look exactly like Johnny Sin's meal prepped meal? Try saying that six times. It's super cheap, super ineffective to just do it yourself. And I promise it's gonna taste just as good. I mean, you all saw how easy it was to make. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Look at that. Oh my God, that's like Mama Sway's meatloaf right there. Mama Sway's Syrian meatloaf. Big kill mama, stop, stop, okay? I'll eat the yalanji with butter. Forget the shreds. Yalla, <laughs> 
Oh wow. Mm. Yeah, this this is really good. That kick and bourbon. You guys gotta try that out. Along with this mashed yam, super good. Oh yeah, that broccoli too, baby. Keeps it hard. Eat your veggies. What are you looking at, bro? With that being said, we are going to move on to meal number six. So this video is titled, I tried Johnny Sin's diet for great sex, but it should be titled, I tried the Seal Suede's diet for great sex. Cause I am going to show you all how to prepare another banging meal that Johnny Sin's had meal prep for him by a meal prep company. So I've got the spaghetti squash turkey meatballs. So again, you can make these meals at home for literally 10 times less of the cost. And it's super easy. So follow along here. We just have some spaghetti squash, some marinara sauce, and some more of that 93.7 ground turkey. That dude loves ground turkey. He's like a pound of it. So the point of the spaghetti squash is to essentially copy noodles without all the carbs, right? It's actually a really great tactic. I have not done this in a while though, just because who really wants to like put this in the oven? So what I'm gonna do first is just cut this in half. This side's a little bit easier. Take the knife out. This should be illegal. Oh, I am never, ever buying a spaghetti squash ever again. I shit you not, this took me 15 minutes and look at the job I've done. That is so much harder to do. Please, I challenge every single one of you to cut a spaghetti squash in half, film it, put it on your Instagram story, and then tag me on Instagram, at the seal suede, and I don't know, I'll gift you something. Slide into my DM. All right, so we're gonna spray this with cooking spray, and then we're gonna go ahead, Put the spaghetti squash. I'm out of breath from kind of. You're not done yet. You gotta scoop the seeds out. <laughs> the girl in the freaking YouTube video telling me how to do this shit. I'm literally sweating at this point. So we got all the seeds off of the spaghetti squash. We're gonna go ahead and put them the other way around. Now we are still not done. We're gonna put holes on the damn spaghetti squash. This is the last time I'm making this thing. This is a lot Getting more angry. time than I figured you Got mad. <laughs> So if you have been a subscriber in my YouTube channel for a while, you know that I'm all about simple, quick, effective, and tasty meals. This is definitely not simple and quick, but it's okay. It's still gonna be a banger of a meal because it's gonna taste super good and it's gonna be very low calorie. Anyways, I'm sweating at this point. This is not helping. Go ahead and put this in the oven at 400. For I'd say about 45 minutes. Just keep checking up for a half an hour. Anyways, let's get started with cooking up the turkey meatballs and making the rest of this freaking dish. <laughs> Alright, so it has been a tad bit over 30 minutes. Check this out! This spaghetti squash is literally the end of me. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to let the spaghetti squash cool down and then I'm going to show you all how to take them apart for spaghetti squash. Now this, my friends, is the satisfying part. Look at that. Bam! Just like that, you've got magical pasta without all the carbs. So that is how you make spaghetti squash. Look, I absolutely blessed you all with this recipe. Johnny Sins didn't show you this. He just had a meal prep company send him spaghetti squash. And I now know why, because it sucks. I would actually prefer to cook all my own food. I really like to cook and meal prep, and that way you know exactly what's in your food. But I just really haven't had the time since I moved to Vegas, so the meal delivery service is really saving my ass. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up on a plate and show you all how the end product looks like for this meal number six. We still have one more meal after that. Just got done preparing meal number six and check this out family we have a cup of the spaghetti squash that we put so much effort into making and then we have two servings of the 93.7 lean ground turkey just like before and then we also have half a cup of marinara sauce so check this out guys look at how much spaghetti squash this is like this is our pasta right if you were to have this much pasta it would be like 400 calories this is 10 carbs and 50 calories that's insane a lot better than 80 grams of carbs come for pasta right and this dish in general is honestly what like 450 500 calories i don't know you guys will know the macros will obviously be listed on the screen just like every other meal let's give this a try mm, yeah definitely a hit please give this a try again you all know where to find me on instagram at the seal suede and also with my program i do have meal plans by the way that shows you exactly how to make these so definitely check that out especially while that seven day sale is going down i know a lot of you are going to enjoy just pulling up my app seeing the ingredient list and exactly how to make this with step-by-step -step instructions Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll catch you all for the last final meal of the day. So 
we're gonna load up what's about to go down for meal number seven. I'm gonna take you all through exactly how to make this because I figured why not? Show you all exactly how to make the last two meals of the day. This is going to be the sin dessert, all right? Because it's sinful and sexy. Sexy, I don't know why. But anyways, we're gonna use one container of this Greek yogurt and he uses vanilla. Again, I'm not sure what kind of flavored powder he uses, but I'm using strawberry cream for the day. So this is blueberry. It's gonna be like a blueberry, strawberry cream flavored yogurt. Final meal of the day, yogurt. With a peanut butter dark chocolate granola bar on top. I got a scene tomorrow. F it, I'm gonna eat it. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and construct this bad boy. We're gonna finish this off. Here's a little trick with this. Don't just mix the protein fat with the Greek yogurt. I mean, you really could, but it would be super, super thick. And we're definitely all about the thick slot, including Johnny Sands. However, you need like a splash of milk. I prefer to use almond milk, but this is all I got in the fridge. A little bit of milk. And then it's gonna mix so much better. Check that out, guys. Well, keep in mind, you can put a little bit of zero calorie sweetener just to make this even sweeter if you have a huge sweet tooth. And we're also gonna throw in this granola bar. This is what adds calories. Like this all together, look at how much volume you're getting. It's just as much calories as this freaking granola bar, but apparently he likes adding this in because he can. I got a scene tomorrow. F it, I'm gonna eat it. I'll just explain you all exactly how much calories and macros is in the diet in total. But first, let's give this a try. Look at how good that looks. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's having like peanut butter dark chocolate on top of the mixture that turned out amazing, by the way. Blueberry with the strawberry cream. Perfect flavor combo. I didn't expect that at all. Johnny Sins just got something going down here. He knows what he's talking about. Not just in the bedroom. So the total macros and calories in Johnny Sins diet for great sex consisted of 2,904 calories coming from 294 grams of carbs, 87 grams of fat, and 241 grams of protein. So in his YouTube video, our macros lined up to be a little bit different, but the calories pretty much were the same. However, I do appreciate how he mentions to his specific viewers that they should not copy diet plans or macros or calories and expect to see results of their fitness journey. This is just what I eat throughout the day. I'm not recommending it to anyone or saying it's the healthiest thing or it's gonna build all that muscle, but it's just what I personally eat throughout the day. I always preach that in my YouTube videos. You all should not copy anybody's calories or macros or diet plans and expect to see results, okay? It's simple as that. You should only watch my YouTube videos and every other fitness YouTuber's videos for just a couple of reasons, all right? Number one, fun, entertainment, strategies, principles, meals, recipes, motivation, and inspiration. Literally only eight reasons, that's it. Look, I generally would love to help you reach your fitness goals. So if you wanna become an absolute sex machine, by sex machine, I just mean achieve a sexy fatigue. I have no business into knowing what you can or can't do in the bedroom, but make sure you check out my complete body transformation program while I do run this $7 seven day summer sale. It's gonna give you your own custom meal plan and custom work workout program so you don't have to copy anybody else's calories and macros or workouts all right you're going to see results because it's all suited towards you make sure you click that first link check it out for the next seven days try out the program for seven dollars thank you so much for watching hit the subscribe button right now if you're new and that notification bell right next to it so you know when i'm uploading every monday and wednesday and then i'll tell you what follow me on instagram at the seal suede and i'll let you know if my sex got greater seriously anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see every single one of you in the next video